Without commitment, you'll never start. But more importantly, without consistency, you'll never finish. It's not easy. If it was easy, there'd be no Kerry Washington. If it was easy, there'd be no Taraji Henson, P. Henson. <laughs> if it were easy, there'd be no Michael T. Williamson, no Stephen McKinley Henderson, no Russell Hornsby. If it were easy, there'd be no Denzel Washington. So keep working, keep striving, never give up, fall down seven times, get up eight. is a greater threat to progress than hardship. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. So keep moving, keep growing, keep learning. See you at work. People can't get up in the morning and they can't get out of bed. I'm going to tell you why. Because they can predict the feeling of everything that's going to happen in their life. And their bodies resign to the familiar. It says, oh, another mundane day. But remember when you were a kid and you were going on a field trip? What happened then? You were up and dressed and ready to go before your parents were up. You know why? Because you knew something unexpected was going to happen. That's how we should live our lives. Waking up with the understanding to expect the unexpected and something unusual should happen in our life as a result of our efforts. Work hard, sleep less. I'm not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to fall over, make a mistake. That oftentimes cripples people on the onset of getting to, into anything. The first time I ever picked up the DJ decks was horrible, horrible now. But I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid of that feeling. It actually propels me. Well, keep your head down. Just keep banging on, you know? That's the most important. I think mountain climbers would probably tell you the same thing, you know? There's no point looking. The difference between climbing 100 feet and climbing 500 feet is a point of view. You won't know you're at the top until you get there, pal. And that's what you need to remember. Work. Life is short. It's too short to live depressed. It's too short to live anxious. And it's too short to struggle every day with thinking about taking your life. I want to challenge you tonight to get up. That you're not quitting tonight. That one day it is appointed unto all men to die. But that is God's responsibility, not mine. And so I don't know who I'm preaching to tonight, but I want to say to you, get up. Your future is brighter than your past. I want to say to you in the balcony, get up. Your ladder is greater than your former. I want to say to every person in this room, get up, because the best is still yet to come. Nothing is free. If you want to be successful, you have to pay the price. Alibaba 18 years to today's size. Yeah, we are lucky. But we work much harder than most of the people. We never sleep well and sound in the evening. I traveled last year 867 hours a year in the flip plane in the plane. I'm working hard, my team working very hard. 18 years, we work like a normal company, 70 years, day and night. Nothing is free. Nothing is easy. I had like $106 in the bank, and like I said, I had to sell my dog, and things were not looking very, very good. Uh, my $40 car had just blown up, so I was taking a bus to work. I had no, no film history, no real film knowledge. I was just working from, I guess, instinct. So often I had gone to fight films or sporting films. Yes, we're going to go out there, we're going to knock them out, we're going to win. I said, no, I'm not going to win. I'm going to get destroyed. If I can be lucid, if I can still be standing on my feet, you know what? Then life isn't so bad. At the very end of our lives, if we can still say, you know, we were never humbled, we were knocked down, but we got up, and I can say, I lived life with integrity, and I took all the blows, I still prevailed. To really succeed, no man really is an island. When you find the right components in your life, the right people that gel with you, then you feel as though you, you're invincible. 
If you want to attract what you want, you've got to see yourself already with it. You've got to understand that you've already got it. First of all, clearly understand this. Nothing is created or destroyed. That means everything's already here. If not in one state, certainly in another. Our problem is we've got to wait until we see it outside before we believe we've got it. Start dealing with the non-physical world, with the invisible world, with the world that you can't see through these little peepers that you've got here we call eyes. Start to see yourself mentally. You've been given the faculties to do that. Use your imagination. See yourself already in possession of the good you desire. That will flip your mind onto a specific frequency. And you do think on frequencies. It's on that frequency that good you desire is going to start coming toward you and you will start moving toward it. If you want to attract what you actually want, you've got to see yourself now already with it. 